Hello Super User, today we're going to learn how to create an aleatoric box notation, something along these lines. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with this notation, basically what this means is we're going to repeat these series of notes until this line ends. Now this may seem like a very simple notation and it's very easy to do by hand, but it's a bit more difficult on finale than you might think. So I'm going to actually walk through step by step to make this process really easy. So first, we're actually going to go to a blog post by Robert Puff on RPM Seattle. You can find a link in the description. Uh, this is the blog post. I would highly recommend, by the way, subscribing to this blog or at least checking regularly because there's a lot of really cool tips and tricks on there. And so this is going to outline exactly what we're doing. So if you feel lost at any point in time, you can always reference this post. So we're going to go down here to to this, the finale libraries that we want to download. This is actually going to be the key to allowing us to create these notations easily. So we're going to click here to download them. And we're going to then download each of these. And I'm going to walk through you step by step how exactly you install these. First, we're going to download this one. And once you've downloaded it, just open it right up. We're going to go like that. And then here. And it actually has all the instructions laid out what you need to do. But to just show you what we're going to do, we're going to go to File, Save Library. We want to make sure Smart Expressions is checked. Click OK. And ta-da, it takes us right to the libraries. I like putting this in miscellaneous. I have it as box shape, but you can name it whatever you want. Hit Save. And then just go to the file you want to look at. File. Load Library. Find the library box shape. And then hit Open. That's all you need to do. If I were you, I'd actually do this in the document style such that you don't ever have to do this process ever again. And then we're going to do the exact same thing for this other expression, the line. Go back here, smart shape line, save it, open it up, and again, it'll tell you exactly what you need to do. File, save library. This time we're going to do as smart lines instead. Hit OK. I like to put it in miscellaneous. You can see I have it as box notation lines. You can save it whatever you want, and then just save it. And then again, over in your file, load library, find wherever you just saved it, and then hit open. And there you go. You have it all in the program, but how do you access it? So to show you, I'm just going to quickly undo all of this. And that way we can start from scratch. So the box, the box is actually going to be in our expressions tool and it's going to be under miscellaneous. I have it signed to keyboard shortcut B. All you need to do to do that is in the expressions tool, hit shift B, and then select this, assign, and you've assigned the keyboard shortcut. So you're just going to assign B, move the box around. This literally does nothing with playback. Enter will allow you to get the actual nodes to move the box, like so. Next up is the line. So we're going to come over here to the shapes tool, and we're going to want a special shape. So we're going to go down here in here to the last one, hit option, select the custom shape tool, and then scroll down until you find the shape you want. Now, this library actually added three lines for you. You can choose whichever one you want. I like this one because it looks very clean. Although if you want like a very chaotic thing, I'll sometimes go for that line, but I'm going to choose the clean one for now. Hit select, and then just double click and then drag just like you would any other smart expression and so now we have that it's nice and simple so now all we have to do is just clear up the rest behind it so we're just going to go to rest hit R for rest H to hide etc you'll often notice that in finale hidden notes will appear as just grayed out notes if you want to remove that from the actual viewing experience all you have to do is come up here to view show and then deselect hidden notes and rests and there you go you have it now the only problem with this is that it doesn't play back correctly so we're actually going to fix that as well so the way you want it to play back correctly is just take the selection you just did and we're just going to copy it and i'm going to take out that and just copy it for the entire time this works really great if you have a bunch of fast notes because then you can't even hear the notes but we've just copied it Highlight that, and we're going to come up here to Plugins, Notes, Beams, and Rest Editing, and then go down here to Notes and Rests, Hide. And there you go. You have the hidden notes. That way, you don't even see them. 
that's it. That's how you create the aleatoric box notation in Finale. Now you have it so it's set up, you can read it, and it actually also plays back correctly, which is a big plus. So if you found this at all helpful, make sure to like and subscribe such that you can stay up to date with all the Finale tips and tricks.